It's me! It's D. It's the Hockey Loving Glee. I apologise immediately that this video is late. I know I'm late to the party when it comes to the NHL 16 game, but we didn't really get it straight away. I wanted to see if the EASHL was going to be good and all that shenanigans. So I'm a little late with my tutorials here, but rest assured, I've got a few of them in there. You know, I've got some defending tutorials, I've got some scoring tutorials, and of course I've got my obligatory yearly face-off tutorial, which is what I'm going to bring to you today. I'm going to do it as one big video this time, rather than the two videos that I did last time when it was just the basics and the advanced. This time it's going to be one big video, it's going to start with the basic shit and it's going to move on to the advanced stuff later on, such as the stick lift, the deek and the shot, which I still can't find it useful, but meh. Okay, we're going to start off with Steven Stamkos, right-handed centre for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Steven Stamkos, solid, solid car in hut this year, solid car in NHL 16, full stop. Um, however, he has only got a 78 rating for face-offs, and that can be a big, big deal. And you can win a lot of face-offs based off just your face-off rating with your uh, with your centre. For instance, like Patrice Bergeron uh, for the Bruins has got a 95 <laughs> rating. That's the highest in the game, and it's the highest by four points as well. The only one that's near him is uh, Joe Thornton for the San Jose Sharks. He's got a 91. Boyd Gordon for the uh, for the for Arizona. He's got a 90. And Paul Gustav for Nashville's got a 90 as well. Uh, but Patrice Bergeron's got a super high uh, face-off uh, rating, which is ridiculous. So Patrice Bergeron would you'd expect beat Steven Stamkos in the face-off. But you know, it all depends because it is just that to that paper rock scissors mentality that NHL goes off, which I will explain in a moment. But for this initial thing, we will begin with Stamkos on the right-handed and we will start with backhands and forehands. Okay, with the right-hander, to do a backhand, you're going to want to rotate the right stick from 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock. Okay, as soon as that referee starts dropping that puck, you're going to want to rotate from 3 to 6. A nice, solid, swift motion, straight down there. You don't want to hesitate, you just want to rotate it down and then boom, you're going to hit that and it's all gravy. You can take off and do whatever you're going to do. Next, for the forehand with a right-hander, you're going to want to rotate it from 9 to 6. So you're going to want to go from left to down. You're going to want to do it sharply and smoothly. You're not going to want to hesitate, like I just said. Just boosh, straight down, and then you're away. Okay, now we're going to cover the left-handed players before returning and covering the more advanced uh, techniques with the right-handed player and then the left-handed player. For a left-handed player, you're going to want to flip everything that you used on the right-handed player. So a backhand on the right-handed player will now be a forehand on the left-handed player, and vice versa. So for instance, the backhanded face-off is now 9 to 6. Rotate your right stick from a 9 o'clock on, on your stick to 6 o'clock on the stick. So left to down. Smoothly, but quickly. Don't, don't mess around, don't do none of this tapping shit. You want to hold that bad boy, and when it comes down, boosh, straight down to 6. To do a forehand with the left-handed, you're going to want to rotate it from the right downwards, so from 3 to 6. The smoothness and technique is more important than anything with this. You're going to want to rotate it, you're going to want to hold it there on the right hand side and wait, and once that puck starts coming down, you're going to want to rotate it down. You're going to want to make sure that between the referee dropping the puck and the puck hitting the ice is when you're going to rotate. That's your time, that's your window right there. From the second it leaves his hand to the second it hits the ice, you've got that much time to rotate from right to down, and then boosh, you're done. Now we're going to go back to Stamkos and the right-handers. This time we're going to go for my favourite, favourite face-off techniques. This shit will always win in Division 10, Division 9 sometimes, and then as you get higher and higher and higher, people learn how to counter-attack it, but on Division 10 you will win damn near everything with this, and it is the stick lift. Now we've got two types of stick lift. I don't know whether it's classed as a forehand and a backhand stick lift, but one of them you get your body in the way and play it back to your left defender, and the other one you just snap it straight back to your right defender. So it essentially just goes left or right, depending on which way you want to go. Uh, with a right hander, to get it to go to your left defender, you're going to want to rotate the right stick from 3 to 12, and you'll see that Stamkos gets his body in the way and plays it back towards the left defenseman. Easy as pie! But a lot of people don't realise that you can actually counter-attack this, and I will be going over that later on in the video. The alternative here is to rotate the stick from 9 to 12, and you'll see that Stamkos knocks up the opposition stick and then plays it back to the right defenseman nice and quickly. 
Ok now we go back to the lefties and all the buttons are flipped over once more. Instead of getting the body in the way of the player in the puck and then playing it back to the left defender, now you play it to the right defender, and instead of having a really quick knock up with the stick and play it back to your right defender, you have it to the left defender instead. All of the buttons are the same though, to play it to the right defender you're going to want to rotate it from left to up, so from 9 to 12, and to play it to your left defender you're going to want to rotate it from 3 to 12, so right to up. The buttons are exactly the same, it's just that the animations change based on which handedness you have, whether it be left handed or right handed. Ok now we're going to go for something a little bit special, we're going to go for the deke face off. Now this doesn't always work and it helps to have somebody that's got a nice face off rating and nice hands as well, so being able to handle the biscuit always a plus. For this you're going to want to hold L1 and then the second that puck goes down you're going to want to flick up on the right stick so you don't have to hold left and right you just hold L1 the second it hits the ice bang flick up on the right stick your player is going to play it through the opposition's leg and be away for a breakaway so it also helps you've got someone who's nice and quick if you've got somebody with a little bit of speed behind them you've got a breakaway and you're in the clear deke it around the goalie and you're away next up we have a face off technique that I was a bit unsure of last year until this one guy made a good good point it's the shot face off. Now to do this, all you're going to do is flick up on the right stick, as if you're taking a wrist shot. Or should that be a snapshot? I don't know, just pressing up on the right stick. No, it is a snapshot. The wrist is to the left and up. Yeah, my bad. So you're just going to flick up on the right stick. The second that that puck hits the ice, up on the right stick, and you're going to knock it flying. Now initially I thought, what's the, what's the point in this? You're never going to score with this. But it's not actually to score. It's to clear the puck away. When you're in your own zone and you need to clear the puck, flick up, boosh, you're away. If you've got some really fast wingers or a really fast centre, flick up, boosh, you're away, you're on the counter. Good shit. Actually works. I'll be done. So uh, kudos to that guy from last year. Uh, well played, you win yourself a biscuit. Nice biscuit. Now of all of the face-offs that are in NHL 16, this final one is the one that I think has been upgraded the most, almost to an overpowered level, and it is the tile. To do the tile, all you're going to want to do is flick up on the left stick as the puck drops onto the ice, in a similar way that you did with the shot face-off. Just flick that stick up once the puck lands, and if you're in the offensive zone and you tie your opponent up, your winger's going to come across and he's going to slip one in short side every time, almost glitch goal-esque, I'm telling you, it's perfect, and it pisses people off no end. But there is a way to counter this and it will be one of the things that I'll be putting into my defensive tutorial so if you want to see that stay tuned to the channel and I'll be putting that out very soon I hope this has helped you I really really do because every year I put these out and I love the comments that I get back because you guys are awesome you really are I love the people that come on here and I try to respond to all of you let's see if we can get this video over a hundred thousand views as well like we did with last year's hundred thousand views god damn that's a lot of views boys and girls I thank you all and good night.